Not again. Sandy freeze. <sighs> it's getting old. <laughs> what a piece of crap. Oh, oh no. Welcome back to the Unskilled Mechanic. Today, we're here with the 1977 Newport in the 1977 Town and Country. Now, this was by viewer request, or at least some of you wanted to see these cars in more of a comparison style video. So we're going to do that today. Kind of walk around them both, go over the options. We have the sales brochure from 1977. Which is available online, right? Which is available online and you print it out. Yep. So we can go over the options and I don't know, see what we can find. Yeah, because between them, when you look closely at them, there's a lot of... Uh, differences, yeah. Si right, similarities and differences, but they both, they're both optioned differently, so. Agreed, so let me grab that brochure. It's in a wagon, I think. All right, which car do we want to start with here? Let's start with the wagon. Start with the wagon. Yeah. So here's the brochure. 1977 Chrysler. So this covers both cars. Yes, and also the New Yorker, which we were looking for one for some time. Maybe we can have the whole 1977 C-body lineup. That'd be nice. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, one more. We need one more. One more. We need the room, too. That's true. So what color is this one? This one. This looks like... What is that? Inca gold metallic? Uh, I wish That's I... jasmine yellow. The wagon's jasmine, jasmine yellow. Jasmine yellow. Okay. And this one... I think it's th this one, right? Yeah, that's Inca gold metallic. Oh, wow. Nice. They have a lot of uh, nice colors, actually. Say, so, can you get that in frame? Is that... Yeah. With go. the uh, Newport color? I don't know. Does that look close? I think so. A lot of nice shades. They are, and we'll go over to the wagon here. Let's... Jasmine yellow. You see how clean the paint on this one? Oh, Great. that fits. Yeah, that fits nice. That's definitely it. Yeah. yeah. I okay. like that yellow. It's a nice color. They're both... So they're both... Um, like yellow, shade yellow. Shades, yeah, because you, know, you see a blue and... Um, That's pretty sharp. Yeah, it is actually. And you got a Newport there towing an Airstream, but the wagon, we were told, used to tow an Airstream around too, so it's actually pretty fitting. Correct, correct. But uh, I guess let's walk around and see if we can find any other specific options. Because I think there's a whole options sheet here that tells you what was an available option for each car somewhere in here. Right. Want to start going over the exterior uh, options? Right, we finally found the list. Here's that. I'll probably put it up on the screen so you can read it. A whole bunch of options that I think some are missing on here too. Because I noticed this car has vet windows, which was an option. I don't see it on the sheet. Okay. Unless, so it might be, there might be an entire list. There might but... be a whole other list, but we'll go through some of them on here. Uh, first off, these strips going down the doors and the side of the body here, they refer to these as door edge protectors. And they were optional on the town and country and also the Newport and the New Yorker. Okay. So the That's town good. and country obviously doesn't have them because it's got the wood grain. You wouldn't want to put those over the wood grain. I don't know. That would look kind of weird. Probably. <laughs> and the wheel covers, I actually learned this in the comments in one of the videos. I didn't know this car was optional with the cheaper wheels. So these are just the standard Chrysler hubcaps. You could also get, they refer to them as the, um, let's see here. The road wheels, they're nice chrome road wheels. The really sharp wheel, actually right here. Picture them right here. The one on the right. Yep, nice. Those are pretty sharp. Yeah, you do see those occasionally. Yeah, those those yeah. are snazzy. You see them on other cars too. Yeah that's, yeah, that's pretty sharp. So that, I think, is it for this side. How about the mirror situation? Did you say? Yes, the right mirror, it's not on the sheet, but the right mirror is an option. Because if we come over here, this car is optioned with. Yep, a right mirror remote control. And that is, yep, optional. Yep, and, and this has the remote control inside the car. That's right, it does, and that remote control is right here up under the dash. You see that there, the little joystick? Yep, there it is. There you go. Oh, what else do we have? Vinyl top, is that an option? So right here, sunroof with vinyl. This does not have a sunroof. I'm trying to just find the vinyl roof. Yeah, like I said, I don't think every option's on here, but I know the vinyl roof was an option because you see them without the vinyl. Right. I actually, I like the vinyl, like the, like, 
a gold on gold on gold. It's it'd be nice, yeah. You mean every available option, right? Right, right. But I did, we got some of them on here. Uh, another one too. It's a sure grip differential. I know this one's not a sure grip, and you can option. Yes, all of them were available with the sure grip. Wow. Yeah, because the wagon we believe is not also right. No, and that's the first box. I would have boom checked that one right off. Okay. It doesn't say how much the option was, but um. I would have optioned that with it, but sure, especially if you're towing. That's right. What else do we got to cover back here? Let's see. Uh, the spare tire was standard on all of them. Ooh, full, we got full size spare back then for all cars. That's right. right that there. was standard, which is something you might look past back then. But today, some cars don't even come with spare. That's I think most cars don't don't come with spare yeah, tires. For, yeah, I guess to save money and space. Kind of a bummer. I mean, a spare tire is kind of essential, do you think? Right. Uh, so we have cruise control, but is not referred to as cruise control. It is referred to as speed control. And that is right on the stock yep. here. Which is that this car's got it. There you go. And in the interior here, we have the standard bench. It's just a split bench with a little armrest yep. there. Yeah. That's standard. Air conditioning. I believe that was an option. Yes, it was. Air conditioning available with automatic temperature control, optional across all models. And I noticed there, so you have the AM radio, not the A-Track. Yes, this is AM FM. <clears throat> oh, AM, no okay. No A-Track. Okay. And you could also get it with four speakers. And an A-Track, right? Yeah, that's fancy. That is fancy. At least we got the AM FM, so that's that's excellent. And you've got each of the, the uh, gauges have the uh, red light for the... That's standard across both. I don't think, did the wagon have it? Yes. That's got it. They don't work though. Oh, that's why. Okay. But the uh, here we also have a clock, analog. You could get a digital, I believe. I see. see. If you can find it. Yep. Clock electric. Not available on the Newport, but it is optional in the town and country only. Oh, interesting. But um, this one does have the standard uh, analog clock. It doesn't okay. work, but uh, you know, it's there for show. Yeah. Yeah. What else do we have to cover in here? No sunroof. How about uh, uh, motor sizes? I know there's a uh, yeah. page in there too. Let's, let's do that. Now in the new port, we have the standard 404 barrel. There she is sitting pretty. We have a motor page here, engine and rear axle availability. All states except California, standard was 400, the 404 barrel in the new port was standard. Optional 440. You could have gotten this car with a 440. Oh, interesting. That would have been my box, but... That's all right. That's okay. We'll take the 400. And in California, the 360 was standard in the Newport. Interesting. So they didn't get option with the 400 in California due to emissions. Oh, I can see that. Is that... What's... Is that N90... Oh, N95. Okay. N95. Okay. I was thinking N96 was on the older cars, the air grabber. Option. Yeah, that would have been pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> put an air grabber on this. Well, no, maybe not. I think so. Uh, well, lean burn, was that an option? No, I think it was standard in 77. If you turn back uh, a page or two, you'll see that as an option. Oh, I think the, they're they're the, boasting the, about it. The computer. Yes. Yes, there it is. There it, yep. is. there it is. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. And that's a four, is that a 400 there? That's 400 there, probably. It's hard to tell the difference because the block was painted the same color. Uh, looks like a distributed. That's probably a uh, 400 or 440, but it's one of them. Uh, electronic ignition, the uh, blue battery. That battery looks sweet with the caps it on it. It does. Actually, I don't see too many of those. Let's see. Um, they refer. Okay, let's see what they say about the spark control computer up here. Okay. A nice close it's up actually there. interesting to hear it right from Chrysler. Right. So they say the pre precise moment for spark plug firing is determined instantaneously by the spark troll computer. This is the brain of the electronic lean burn system. It has sensors that monitor the engine condition and talk back to the computer continuously. Here's how it works. It responds to throttle position and its rate of change. It responds to changes in the manifold vacuum and engine speed, such as driving up and down hills. Oh. Compensates for air temperature, adjusts to engine coolant temperatures. Wow. Interesting. It is That's actually. That's pretty, pretty advanced for 77. Right, right. Very nice. And I, I mean, I don't Whether know, it I, works. Right, how do you tell yeah, if it works or not? We're always knocking on it. The car, you know. But they run and drive, so. Maybe not as well if it not, was gone, but. It's true, because the uh, non-lamer cars, like the Fury and the Charger, they run 
Just way better. Right. But, um... Well, let's get it under the hood. Anything else? Let's see. Well, your AC compressor over there, that was an option. And that is the original. It AC is. Compressor. You want to, why don't you open up the hood on the, uh, the wagon. wagon while we're here talking about it. Um, now this one, as you probably know, if you've been watching a revival series on this, is a 440. Right. So it's just a, I mean, they look almost identical. <laughs> they are. Blue valve covers. Well, the block, the whole block's painted blue. Uh, standard computer. Yep. This one, just look at that. That's like a showroom new. We're close. I mean, it's close you're gonna get now. Uh, it's totally original, right? It's all original. You got the little air duct here. Yep. So and so is this one. It's just you know has seen a lot more road time. Wear and tear. Yep. But uh, and, it, and it hasn't been in a clean environment all the time. Either. Agreed. But to be fair to this one, the 440, at least these two, they both could use plugs and wires. They've, we haven't tuned up either of them, but uh, as they sit now, the 440 runs way better than the 400. It does. I feel like this one's way more responsive. This one's a complete dog, but uh, this one's a lot more responsive. I didn't think there'd be any difference. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Right. But right. Uh, there, there is for sure. I would definitely want the 440 for towing over the 400. Well, fuel tank. I didn't know they had different capacities either. The, uh, the wagon actually has a smaller tank. The wagon's got a 24-gallon tank. The Newport and the New Yorker had a 26.5-gallon tank. That's really odd because it's, yeah. it's a wagon that... Right. You'd think that one would have the bigger tank. Right. It's probably less room in the cargo area. I don't know. Maybe because the, they dropped the floor lower. Uh, possible. I don't know. That's a go Oh, you're yeah. right because yeah. this this had the option third seat, which this car doesn't right. have. So you think it'd be... The tank might be shallower just so they can get that more... The right, right. I bet you're right on that. Because the, be right. the well's in the back, that's right. And that's, well, I don't know if this is obvious, but this is a rear fill that's filled on the driver's side. Oh, okay, the uh, over the uh, license plate. Controlling the gas cap back here. I actually, this is one of my favorite gas cap situations back here. I like how it's up. hidden back here, and then it, the sound is just boom. Oh, check that out. Flipped right up. You know, I always think it was behind the license plate. Yeah, that's luxurious right That's there. right. <laughs> I guess. That's what you want to call it. It's it has sure. the same sticker, too. It Unle does, yeah. Un I don't know. What do they refer to that as? Like, it looks like two lions and a... No, I meant the unleaded gasoline. <laughs> oh, right, okay. That, that works, too. Yeah. Because if you go over to this car, it's right on the side. I don't know why again. It is. Yeah, there it is. Still present. That's it. <sighs> there you go. And that's a pretty deep well for the uh, filler tube. It is, because when you're filling it up, I'm like, you can't tell if you got it placed right. Interesting little fun fact. That's it. Kind of stuff we've never really discussed. Not that anybody would really want to know, but... but hey, you uh, know what? When do you see two of these next to each other? That's true. That's I'm not saying you want to see them next to each other. That's, that's true. They're here. That's a great point. And we just need one more. we got to get the New Yorker. Boom. Right, right in the side. middle. Right in the middle. Where can we find a 77 New Yorker? Actually, I... You know, I'll be looking. That's right. I told you guys, you got to keep me away from marketplace. So... so for as far as options, how about the wagon? I mean, I know we've gone over them, but um, is there anything that really sticks out on that sheet? Yes. Well, the tow package doesn't show up as an option on the, the package sheet. That's interesting. I'm almost thinking dealer install, or there's a whole other option sheet we're missing, because there are some options that we know our, our options are just not there. Right, because we know from seeing other cars that that, that tow package, I don't know what part's done at the factory or what's done right. from the uh, dealer. Because it's got the electronic brakes uh, controller and right. everything. And then you see the coolers up here? Have we shown the power steering? Or power steering's got a cooler on it, right? Right. But I don't know if we showed in detail. So we showed the power steering. It's got the there. cooler. But in more detail, there's an actual transmission cooler. You can see the lines right there that run in the back. Um, and that car, does this car have it? No. No. Nor the, nor the power steering cooler. Right. No power steering yeah. cooler on that. Yeah. So... Um, Show them the brake controller, too. We have the brake controller in the interior. We do, and there's the brake controller in, in, in greater detail. Um, but the other thing that, that was odd about this car, I don't know if we ever drew much attention to, is off the master cylinder, there's two lines. There's one for the brakes, and there's one that goes to the controller. 
Yeah, that's... So, yeah, we, didn't, we, you know, we were questioning whether that's factory or not. But it's such a clean install. And you got the trailer lights. Everything's wired. It's in wire loom. It's, so, it's really clean. Well done. Done. But do you notice also with these two cars, same years, right? Look at right. the compressor. The clutch is different. Are they different? Yeah, the, the, look at the clutch in this one. Was this a reman one, though? No, that's an, that's that's an original. And then come and look at this one. It's got the big, almost looks like an older one over here. I don't know. Oh, you're right. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. I don't know what that weight is. I don't know if it's a uh, different part number. Well, there's air conditioning available with automatic temperature control. Does this have automatic temperature control? I don't know, actually. I, that's a good question, because if it doesn't, maybe the compressor was different. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows in the comments. They can... Uh... Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Car in a wagon. You think the wagon would be a lot bigger. It's actually length. It's... It's about an inch longer than the new Ford. Okay, so another thing here, the wheels are actually bigger on the town and country. We have the dimensions here. Town and country was 15 by six and a half, whereas on the new Ford, is, it was 15 by five and a half. So break that down a little bit. So this car is 235, 75, 15. Yes, so it's a bigger tire as well. What's the new port? 225? 225. Yes, so it's a smaller tire. It's a bigger tire in here. The, you, you could tell looking next to him. You noticed it. It's like, it's like, wait, why does it sit like that? It's like, oh, yeah, it's a bigger tire on that. Right, but we were told by somebody else, though. What's unique about these rims, which some people may recognize from the old days? H-code wheels. They're the heavy-duty heavy duty wheels. So these rims, if you look, if the hubcap was off, they're actually stamped with an H. But they're not to be confused with the ones on the A12 Roadrunners. Right. And the Coronets as well. Right. Uh, they're not the same ones because they were. I don't think these would be on here anymore. I and think which we may show in future videos. Yeah, they, they'd six be. Six and a half. Gone. Gone. But these yeah. still have to be worth a, a, a good right. dollar. Because they know? are a heavy duty rim. And you got, I believe you got five of them, right? Yeah, the spare, spare is also stamped. But the uh, the ones on here are not stamped, and they're smaller tires. And you can see by, I mean, they're just much thinner. They are. You can tell if you stand back. It's funny. So that that's a that's a big uh, that's a big difference. That is an upgrade. But another thing we wanted to go. Oh, well, what were we gonna say? Well, I was gonna I was going where you were going because you mentioned before the way the cars were, you know, over the years. Right. This maintained. Right. The wagon's definitely it's it's a lot more weathered. I mean, you can see by the paint, the chrome. Whereas on the Newport here, this car was babied. This has 70,000 original miles. This car was garage. And you, you could just tell. I mean, the chrome's in gorgeous shape on this. There's like almost no pitting. How about the doors? You said the doors. The uh, doors are. Notice the difference in. They're, I mean, that's it. Wow, that's smooth. Much smoother. We're on this one. It's like. It's like. You, yeah. It sags and you just got like the same amount of force. It doesn't shut the door. But. To be fair, it's a family hauler, and not a lot of them, not a lot of them made it out of the 70s. I've heard demolition derbies. I don't know if that's true. That's true. A lot of people were demo derbying these and still are, believe it or not. Wow. People are still trying to get these for demo derbies, which to me is insane. I mean, to each their own, but I'd, I'd never. Why are you laughing back there? No, no because way. Because we would. <laughs> no way. I, I think, I, I actually think you're, you're, you're starting to rescue them now. There's, that's right. Which it's is a rescue admirable. mission. Yeah. Sea body rescue mission. That's right. But um, what else we got here? What else is really difference? What else is a big difference as far as the way they were brought up? The front chrome. Yeah, we'll show the bumpers. Actually, that's a great comparison because I just polished the chrome on this. Well, not polished, a glass cleaner. But if you took some metal polish, you could really oh, get that. The my gosh, it's shiny now. But look at that. No, there's no pitting. Scratched, yes, but it's it's not pitted. And the grill. The grill's in beautiful shape. There's no weird cuts because that one's got a section. Almost looks like it was intentional. Right. It was punched out just like that. Weird. But look at this. I mean, look at all that pitting. It's all. Yeah. It's not no weather. That's right. But that could easily be. Ref I don't know if it could be refinished, but. Absolutely. And we, we haven't even gotten to a deep cleaning. Uh, you know, maybe that'll be another video someday. That's true. It's unfair to really compare the paint yeah. quality because on the hood here. Look how nasty. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't even clean it really it's thoroughly. Got, it's got to warm up a little. So he agreed. So that's unfair. But, but you he, you can see which one's been you know has less use. It's been better maintained. Right. As opposed to the other. I so. mean, actually, another good one here is just on the hood signal right here, yeah. or the fender signal. Look how much pitting that has. Whereas as that opposed to that, new. yeah, that's that's nice. But um, just to uh, I don't want to picture this one. This is not 100 percent perfect here. 
I know you got your your paint chips. There's there's some scratches, little dings. Uh, actually, right here on the roof. We did notice that from the other. I didn't notice dent. until the other. Yeah. It was sitting outside. Well, the one guy I purchased it off, he had it sitting outside. I'm guessing a tree branch just popped it right oh, on the roof. Yeah. That's a bummer, but I don't know. I think it adds character to the car. But uh, I don't know. If, can we crawl underneath and show you the undercoating on this car? Sure. Let me crawl underneath. Sure. We can see it down here. I don't know if you can. That is all undercoated. And the underneath is just flawless on this car. There's practically zero rust. And working on it is an absolute dream. Just because of that. And it's like the Fury. The Fury's not undercoated like that. I don't does Fury have undercoating? Um But it's it's very solid. Because it was a Texas car. But these, these were all up north. So the yeah, fact that the uh, town and country's got the undercoating too. Yes, the town and country does have undercoating, but it's far more weathered. It's been used. See that? But still in really nice shape, solid, no serious rot, so it is still safe to drive, obviously. Okay. Look at that. That's like the same wagon. It's the exact same wagon. Isn't that funny? Chrysler town and country. This one, I'm jealous. They got the third row. Oh, is that the third row seat? That's the third row oh, seat. Oh, nice, nice. But it's the same interior color and exterior color. It is actually has the handles on the side and shows you the usefulness of that side compartment. Tennis rackets. Tennis rackets. And if you look at, yeah, the front the front seat's the exact same seat. See, we just got the standard AM radio. No, no speed control. No speed control. We got the cheap steering wheel. Uh, what else do we have here? We do have a clock, though. Analog clock. That's all the same. That was standard, I think. Digital was an option. But the uh, crank windows, and it's pretty much the same car, other than that. And we have AC. And we don't have a remote. Uh, no mirror. mirror. Yep, no mirror. Do have a map light. So. What else? That's about it. Other than that, it's, it's just a station wagon. It's just different, you know. It is. So it's got some options. It's not completely bare bones, but because uh, it is a town and country, you could get the cheaper wagon. So they went for the nicer wagon. Definitely. But, um, and they drive pretty relatively the same. They do, yeah. They're both big land yachts. They drive like a boat. Like, yeah. you, you just kind of, hey, you but, pose and they. But they're nice. They're nice to drive. They, oh, they both got the fender directionals, too. That's right. So. That's a very nice option. What else? This one has the standard wheel covers as well, not the, the road wheels. I'd like to pick a set up almost and just throw them on, see what they look like. Sure. Because actually, in the brochure here, this one has the nice wheels. There we go. It does. With the cornering light, with the with the uh, luggage rack. That's a nice car. Yeah, this one's nice. optioned up. Actually, they have rear AC. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. There's like a vent there. I don't know. Possibly. I mean, that might be an option. Oh. Like you said, this might not be a whole, you know, an entire list of all the right. options available, but. Um, it's a good overview, I think. It is. Because I've it learned is. a lot. But it's got the same paneling and the same color. This is pretty darn close. It is. That that one's loaded. Yeah, this one's loaded. Uh, option, you know, as far as options, so. But uh, that's a nice wagon. This is a nice wagon. We all have nice wagons. That's true. What else do we have here? I just want to make sure we cover as much as we can. Well, here you go. Here's some pictures of the options. You get your sunroof. That's a pretty sweet option. That is a nice option. Speed control, which we showed you over there. Tilt. And yeah, tilt. it's got the tilt too. Yeah, it shows you there the diagram of the. And tilt. that's the wheel that tilts the tel. Did not see telescopic? Yep, it is too. Both. Ah. Mirror with. Oh, look at that! You get an actual mirror. These don't. Yeah, this is plain. Let's get the lights. That's pretty cool. It is illuminated. Actually. That's sweet. Power. That look. They're bragging about the power seats. That's like. Power. Power seats. Power windows. Standard New Yorker. Power door locks. Power radio antenna. Power sunroof. Power trunk lid release. That's that fancy. Be, does that one have a power trunk? No. No. Okay. Does not have a release. Not even a mechanical one. Okay. Vent windows. And Vent windows. Driver side mirror or passenger side mirror. Yes. Yeah, passenger side mirror. That's an option. Does it say anything more about the vent windows? Yes, vent windows. They feature pivoting action, which provides indirect airflow when they're opened. Indirect airflow. Okay. Interesting. 
Vent windows are available on four-door models only. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. But people are saying that was for your cigarette smoke. If you were smoking, it would take it out of the cabin. Right. Not blow it back into your face. And a, and a subscriber mentioned it too. That was good. A bunch of people did. So a bunch? Okay. Thank you for that because I had no idea. I was sitting there like, this makes no sense. Why wouldn't you want the air to come towards you? Because that's the best part of a vent window. Right, right. But as seen by the many ashtrays, one here, one there. And your kids could smoke in the back, too. That's right. So it is a real family hauler. It is. But, uh, okay, this is, just to sum this up a little bit here, that's the air temp, too. And that's the nicer air conditioner. Yeah, that's the temperature control. Nice. It is nice. Digital clock? Oh, that's fancy. Yeah. What are we talking about? 45 years ago. Right, I mean, yeah, is, these were optioned up. You could option them up, at least. I, the one option that I really, really want, third row, of course, with the tape deck. Is I've never seen. That is wild. I've seen it in older, older models, like the old chargers. And right. Stuff like that, but not, not on this. Chrysler offers several different radio options shown here. AM, FM, stereo radio with 8-track, stereo tape equipped with four speakers. Isn't that interesting? That's pretty sweet. Hey, you know, see, I was just reading to all the light packages you can get, you know? There's so many options. I've. Actually, right. sitting down in the dealership, I'd be blown away. Yeah, is that something? What do you even, what do you do? Right. I mean, you got all this stuff here. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. We got the colors again. The Airstream with the discards. Will, yeah, that's the new pro. Look, we're towing mirrors an option. Look, they're like bolted right onto the car. Know, that's a good, that's a good question. That looks ridiculous. Yeah, I think that's aftermarket. But they showed it in a Chrysler ad. That's a good point. I don't know. Can you imagine driving around like that? Like, uh, do you notice the car, the difference between your car and that one? This is a hard top. It's a hard top. It has no pillars, no pillars between the doors. I love that. That's sharp. That is very sharp. I think we covered mostly that was everything. Pretty thorough. Yeah. If you want to jump back out, and we'll close this out. This car has seen a much easier life. For sure. Than the wagon. Right. This one, there's practically. I'd say 99.9% .9 is rust free. I mean, there might be like little, little, right, little right. rust breaking out, but this one, and it's been driven. But just to find a preserved wagon and sedan, it's, it is tough. It is tough. Because I was actually. looking for a while for a, a four door sedan to find, I just wanted a clean example of one. That took a while. But just to find a wagon, that was, that was almost three years. Yeah. So the fact that we have two of them, in, in original condition, in original condition, yeah, and not messed with. I like the original. I don't care that it has the lean burn. No, that doesn't no. bother me, and I wouldn't change it because it's original. It is, and that's kind of what you got. I mean, that's what you're doing. You with. know, it runs plenty. It, run, it, it runs great. It's got plenty of power for what it is. They're not race cars anyway. No, but you know, even torque. I mean, going up a hill, there is. They have no trouble. It's the nice thing about the big block. No trouble. Or just a V8 in general. Yeah, just right up the hill. So. Yeah. But to close it out, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know if we miss anything. I'm sure we missed stuff. If you point out some different options that we miss or whatever, yeah. let us know. Because I'm curious to see uh, what you know. Or if you've ordered one new, I don't know. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Never trust a big block without a gas gauge. An immediate death sentence. It's okay. You had $10 worth of fun there, I think. Drink up.